Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about the loss of exponents. We will use loss of exponents to simplify expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. In number one, we are given x cubed times x raised to nine. We can use the product rule to simplify or to multiply these expressions. Here, we have the same base. We need to copy the bases and add the exponents, that is 3 plus 9. And simplifying this, it will give us x raised to 12. And this is the answer or the product of item number 1. In number 2, we can also apply the product rule for in the difference between number 2 and number 1, it has the constant or coefficients. So we will multiply first the numbers 4 and 5, 4 times 5. And as for the variable x, here, copy the variable x. This is 2, add exponents, and we have here an invisible 1. So that is plus 1. And simplifying this, this will give us 4 times 5, which is 20. Then for the variable x, that is x raised to the third power. And this is now the product of item number two. Let us proceed with item number three. In number three, we have three different expressions to be multiplied. And don't worry because this one is an easy example. Multiply first the numbers, two times three, which is equal to six, times four, that will give us the answer of 24. For the variables, kung ano notice nyo, we have two different variables. Let us start with x variable. Copy the x variable. Add exponents. We have 2 plus, here, we have an exponent of 1. That is plus 1. And since y is different from x, we will copy the variable y as the second variable and then add exponents. We have here 1. And 1 so that is 1 plus 1 and we need to simplify this so this will become 24 x raised to 3 2 plus 1 which is 3 then y which is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 meaning the product of these three expressions is simply equal to 24 x raised to 3 y raised to 2 now let's go with item number 4. For number 4, as you can see, this one is a division, wherein definitely we can apply the quotient rule. We have 21y raised to 7 over 7y raised to 4. First, we need to simplify the coefficients. As you can see, this is 21 over 7, or in other words, this is 21 divided by 7, which is equal to 3. Now, for the variables, applying the quotient rule, all we need to do is to copy the same variable or same base and then subtract the exponents. We have to start with the numerator, 7 minus 4. Simplified exponent, it will give us 3y raised to the third power. And this is now the answer. Now, last one. For number 5, we have 24x raised to 2, y raised to 3 times... 2x raised to 8 over 6x y raised to 2. Now, there are different ways on how to do this, but in this case, what I want to do first is to simplify 24 and 6 because they have the DCF of 6. 6 will be cancelled out and it will become 1. For the 24, it will become equal to 4 because we have 4, 6 in 24. So, what about the variables? For the variables, what I can do here, oh, we still have 4 and 2, so I can multiply 4 and 2, which is equal to 8. For the variables naman, I will add first x squared times x raised to 8. It will become x raised to 2 plus this variable 8 plus 8. Then I will copy y cubed over x raised to x, ra x times y squared. Simplify first, 
we have now this one 8x raised to the 10th power y cubed over x raised to y square and as you can see I will try to move this solution first I will move it here and let's continue our solution here we have 8 for the variable x subtract exponents 10 minus 1 because we have here invisible 1 for the variable y we have y raised to 3 minus 2 and then simplify the exponents and as you can see the answer is simply x 8 x raised to 9 and y and this is now the final answer for item number 5 so i hope guys you learned something from this video on how to use the loss of exponents in simplifying expressions so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit on the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat bye bye